Welcome to Fast Track Video Gallery. If you want to study it quickly and properly, you are in the right place. We encourage you to watch this short video tutorial to learn how to create a video gallery, how to make a mixed up gallery with photos and video files, and to know about extra possibilities that our new video gallery plugin gives you. Before installing Fast Track Video Gallery plugin, please make sure that Fast Track Gallery is updated to uh, the version 1.5.6. To check it, we need to go to Extensions, Extension Manager, Components, find in the list FastWeb Gallery and uh, check the version 1.5.6. So that's OK. And now we can go on with installation of FastWeb Video Gallery plugin. To install it, we need to go to Install section. Then we need to select uh, the file with FastWave Video Gallery plugin, open it and upload it. If you can see the following message about successful installation, it means that FastWave Video Gallery plugin has been installed successfully to your website and now you can use it. Please note this, that this message is also uh, can be very important for you and very useful because it includes uh, some useful links to uh, documentation uh, with screenshots to our Twitter and Facebook profiles where you can read about uh, and know about our best offers uh, and the latest news to our YouTube uh, page uh, and also to our extra service like extensions, extensions customization and so on. Also here you can see the list of other FastWeb Gallery add-ons that you can apply to your uh, FastWeb Gallery video or images. So, to be absolutely sure that FastWeb Gallery video plugin is ready to use, uh, we need to check if our, uh, it is enabled. To check it, we need to go to FastWeb Gallery, FastWeb Gallery plugins, and uh, on the right side you can uh, see the list of add-ons that are installed to your website. Uh, among them is FastWeb Gallery video. So we can see a green check mark opposite it. So it means that it is enabled and we are ready to create our first video gallery. Now I'm going to describe you how you can create your first video gallery. We need to go to Galleries, where we can see uh, the list of video and uh, photo galleries that uh, were already created uh, beforehand. Um, so among them are photo galleries that are published, uh, some of them are not published, and uh, the last one is video gallery. Please note that uh, this structure is uh, a nested level structure and it is very important and can be very convenient for you if you have a, a large archive of uh, video files and photos. It will help you to systemize it better uh, on your website. So uh, the last video gallery is video, is named video, and it has four sub galleries or sub categories: music video, uh, funny cartoons, uh, blip reels, and short videos. Let's open one of them, like music video, to know uh, what you need to fill and what you need to do to create your uh, video gallery. So when we um, opened this um, gallery, uh, we can see that uh, to create it, uh, you need to type the name of the gallery, of course. Then you need to select parent gallery if it is uh, uh, not the main gallery, but a sub gallery uh, of some of uh, video galleries or photo galleries. Also, we need to select user who creates this gallery. Um, the, next, uh, the next field is color. It's a very interesting and significant feature. Um, it will help you to uh, point out some uh, galleries with um, this or that color. Uh, I will show you on the front end what does it mean. So here you can see um, eight galleries uh, uh, with different color plates. 
So I'm talking about uh, these color pl plates. Uh, uh, for video galaxy, uh, we've chosen the black color. So let's remain it black. Uh, the next uh, feature is view access is a very interesting and significant feature because uh, this feature allows you to limit the access to your gallery. So it's up to you to decide what people can uh, see this, uh, can watch your videos or uh, see your photos, uh, whether they are guests, everyone, yes, or you can uh, or you want to show your galleries only to registered users. So. Uh, we'll remain our video galleries uh, available for guests. Public right access uh, is uh, a feature for users who has already tried our FastWeb Gallery Frontend Manager plugin. Uh, this plugin allows you to add uh, and edit your galleries so without admin access information, without logging into the backend of your website. And the last field is description. Description is uh, um, a field where you can put uh, uh, some short details or detailed description about your video or photo gallery. So it is um, forced with a um, HTML editor and you can uh, add here extra images or links uh, or uh, even smiles and so on. Do not forget to click save button after you have finished your um, gallery. So the next step is uh, how to add video files. It is the next category of our video gallery. It is images. So when clicking on images, uh, we also suppose that uh, there can be also video files from this moment. Um, we can select the gallery video gallery, one of video galleries, funny cartoons, and here you can see um, the preview images of video files. Also please note that extra column type uh, has appeared in this version of FastFab Gallery and it is uh, indicates, it indicates that uh, this file is of video type. Clicking on uh, the first video file preview image, we get the page of a video file. Uh, to add a new video file, you need to uh, type the name of the file. Also, again, the user who adds this file. You can make it default or not default in the gallery. Uh, published or no. You can also select the date where this uh, when this uh, video file was added. Uh, this field like longitude, latitude and copyright uh, do not uh, type them because they they are applicable at the moment only to photo galleries. Then gallery, to what uh, gallery this video file is referred, uh, funny cartoons in our case. Then file, so uh, please note that uh, clicking on file type you can select also image and you can create uh, uh, in this gallery also file that would be an image, just an image. So you can select uh, any uh, image uh, from your in your computer and upload it. Uh, we select video because I need to explain how to add video files. Uh, then uh, when selecting video type, uh, we uh, can select uh, one video provider from a drop-down list. It can be uh, Flash Video, YouTube, uh, Vimeo and Blip TV. So, Let's uh, leave by mail and put an ID number of the video. And the description field, uh, it is convenient for you to um, tell your friends, uh, tell your guests about this video, um, what is showing about and so on. So you can also uh, use some extra images or you can um, use smiles and so on. Do not forget to uh, click save button. And now we created uh, our first gallery with uh, our first video files. Mm -hmm. 
Now I would like to show you how uh, our galleries looks uh, our gallery looks on the front end of our website. Uh, so uh, here you can see four galleries. Uh, the first one is video gallery. Others are photo galleries. So let's um, click on video gallery. As you can see, this video gallery consists of uh, uh, four sub gallery so uh, this is uh, a nested level structure that i was talking about uh, in uh, before uh, music video let's click on this um, gallery uh, so, uh, this is uh, a view of a single video gallery. Here you can uh, see um, the preview images of each video file, video, music video, yes. So, here you can uh, see the name of the video, the date, uh, the author or the user who edits, and rating of the video. Clicking on a single uh, preview image, we uh, come to uh, the page of a single video file. This page uh, consists of a big image of uh, our video file and two also two uh, thumb images of our previous and next video files. So and now you can enjoy your video. Please also note that uh, this uh, here on this page you can also uh, leave your rate. Uh, you can also uh, view the number of uh, views and you can also see uh, the date when this video file was uh, added and uh, you can go come back to uh, the gallery of this video file. So let's leave this uh, um, page. I've explained to you uh, how to create a gallery and to create to add a video files to your gallery. My next, uh, uh, the next part of my tutorial uh, will be devoted to the rich set of configuration options that our video gallery offers to you.